Our second of two Uzbek boxes on the bill here tonight. Approaching the ring. Well, that certainly isn't Odil John Oslanov. That's the man out of the black corner, and that is Shadiri Musa Bwogi. From Kampala in Uganda. Undefeated professional. Four bouts, four wins, two of them coming inside the distance. All of his bouts in the pro ranks coming in the Ugandan capital of Kampala. He's operating out of the black corner. And now we got his opponent from the black corner from Uzbekistan, Odil John Oslanov. Well, as you can clearly see, it's Bwagi who is taking up residence in the black corner and he's decked out in black trimmed with gold. Now, what color is Odil John Os Aslanov going and to now, emerge wearing? Make his, as he makes his way to the ring, fighting out of the black corner, representing Uzbekistan, it's Odil John Aslanov. Don't die, don't die. We get him out. We get him out. So, Aslanov will be boxing out of the white corner, decorated IBA boxer and an undefeated professional. Five fights, four wins, one draw. He was in the ring as recently as June of 2023. The 2022 Ooh. Asian Ooh. Continental Ooh. Silver Medalist at 80 kilograms light heavyweight. This is officially scheduled for five three-minute rounds in a light heavyweight 80 kg matchup. Your five judges being represented here tonight ringside from Azerbaijan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Moldova, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. And when the action begins, your female referee in the center of the ring by the bell represented the IBA by way of Serbia with referee Jovana Ukrenovic. Now, reintroducing first, fighting out of the black corner. Tonight he enters the ring, 26 years age, weighing it officially at 77.25 kgs. Fighting out of Uganda, it's Shadiri Bowogi. And going across the ring, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the gold corner tonight. He enters the ring, 26 years old, weighing it officially at 79.7 kgs. Presenting the ASBC light heavyweight silver medalist, Mukhtaram Honimlar Vajshanoplar Khushkalimtizlar is Adil John Uzbekistan, Adil John Aslana. Referee Jovanna Ukrenovic will now be giving her final instructions to the boxers. Boxers, head up. No holding, no low blow, and listen to me. Good luck. So there's the tail of the tape, and you can see that the man operating out of the gold corner is considerably bigger. Odil John Oslonov, Aslonov, a natural light heavyweight. Box. Whereas the man wearing the black trunks trimmed with gold coming out of his corner in the southpaw stance, Shaderi Musa Bwogi, decorated IBA boxer, competed in the 2021 Tokyo Olympic Games. Made it through to the round of 16. Here's a burst of punches from near the corner, leading off with that southpaw right jab. But all of his success has come at several weight divisions down in the olympic games it was a 69 kilogram welterweight in his professional career when he comes to the ring as the ugandan reigning ugandan super middleweight champion that's 168 pounds but there you see he's using his assets of speed to snake quick straight punches in between the defenses of the natural light heavyweight Odil john aslanov he too a decorated iba boxer mentioned that continental silver but he's been touched up by the fast-fisted attacks of Bwagi. but again in a five-round contest one has to think that the greater size of aslonov could well begin to take a toll as he gets through with a left hand but then look at the quick-fisted response there's one two penetrating the defenses of Aslonov and a lead right hook skipping away making it a check hook from Bwagi halfway through the opening round 
And again, sharp shooting successes from Boagie. Southpaw left to the body just above the belt line of the straight variety. As Lonov can get himself into his own short range and lean on him and make that bolt tell. Well, not wishing to state the obvious, but weight divisions exist in boxing for a reason. So a minute remaining in this opening round, and it's been a very good round of boxing so far. Light heavyweight limit, 80 kilograms. Boagie weighing in at 77.25. Aslanov weighing in at just under 80 kilograms at 79.7. They tried a left hand over the top, but wonderful movement being employed by the sharp shooting fleet footed Boagi. Will he be able to keep it going? We'll be, we'll be, we be watching a pugilistic case of tortoise and hare as a hard right hand slammed into the body. And that is where Boagi does not want to be. He's got to keep the movement going and use the space of the rope square. Because if he finds himself confined in the corner or near the ropes, well, the heavy leather of Aslanov is likely to prove to be some damaging artillery. Made to miss with a right hand over the top there. But will Boagie be able to keep those quick twitch movements going? As he did for the most part so effectively during the first three minutes. Very good opening round. Even though they're in the same weight class, my goodness. There is a considerable difference in size. That's Lonov, the far bigger man, naturally. I'll mention the fact that all four of this man's professional contest have been in his native Uganda. Lonov's fights have been right here in Russia. But this is an example of the wonderful punch picking that the man in black and gold was able to demonstrate. But when he held his feet for just a moment, that allowed the wrecking ball right hand of Aslonov to crash through. And again, just that extra bulk and natural size could well take its toll the deeper we go into the contest. So, Wagi's corner, just a little tardy in leaving the court, the boxing ring. So, time eventually called and the action resumes. So, Wagi, terrific speed and snap on his punches. Look at that for a three-shot combination. Right, left, right. But can he keep the movement going? Because, again, when Aslonov gets closer, well, he just looks to unload and let leather land wherever it may fall. Shoulders, biceps. Not necessarily scoring punches, but damaging punches. And in the context of a five-round contest, or well, they could well take their toll and just cause the speed of Boagie to dissipate. And again, this is where he doesn't want to be. Because in this type of grappling encounter, you have to suspect that Aslonov will be superior in that regard. Slonov bustling his way forwards once again, walking through the punch successes that Boggy's enjoying, but when he can keep the movement going like this, he is far more effective. The key fundamental question is, can he keep it going? Right jab, then skipping off to his right, hitting without reply during that exchange or during that coming together, Boggy. But can he keep it going? As well as his progression through to the round of 16 in the most recent Olympic Games in Tokyo two years ago. Also commentated on him at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. The scores of the right hand almost trips over the camera operator's lens. Oh, it's hard slapping right hand. Flung in from Aslanov. But again, when he can keep the movement going and snake out whiplash punches, Boggy looking very effective indeed. Here he tries the same move once again, slamming in a southpaw left, then dipping off to his right. In that aforementioned Commonwealth Games, he lost to the eventual gold medalist, Pat McCormack of England. 
Great Britain's boxer coming away with a silver medal in the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Lost in a unanimous point decision on the Gold Coast. Again, had the privilege of commentating on that championships. As for us, Lonov, who's continuing to bustle and muscle his way forwards, he participated in the 2021 IBA World Championships at the Stark Arena in Serbia. Lost in the third preliminary round on a 3-2 split at the conclusion of a, an incredibly competitive contest as Boggy gets his feet in a tangle, momentarily turns his back. Lost to the eventual champion, Robbie Gonzalez. Winning two out of his three contests at the Stark Arena. I was ringside for that championships as well, and it was contested in a terrific atmosphere. That's what we have on hand here tonight in Sirpukhov. And Boggy, because of his plucky effort in a contest with clearly the smaller man, but he absorbs a sickening right hand to the body. My goodness, that put a pained expression on his face, and he was happy to cling on and hear the sound of the bell just to allow the seconds to pass because, my goodness, that was a really accurately placed punch driven in from Aslonov. Some of the action. And again, it's the equation that we established in the first round. Boagie has somehow got to keep the movement going in the face of these attempted assaults from the bigger man. And when he does it, he looks very effective indeed. But when he finds himself confined near the corner post or near the ropes, and it's an altogether more uncomfortable mission for the man from Uganda. So the five round distance of Champions Night format boxing in the IBA Pro Series should hold no fears for either boxer. Boggy has been six rounds on two occasions in his first two contests, his 14th contest scheduled for 10, but he got his man out of there in the first round to win the vacant Ugandan super middleweight title. As for Aslonov, he's been the eight round distance on two occasions in fights numbers three and four. Again, Boggy doing a terrific job with his quick twitch attacks. Beautiful right jab spinning off to his right. But can he keep the bigger man off? There's a beautiful right uppercut through the middle, but a right hand over the top in response from Aslonov. You see him edging forwards, creeping forwards, his feet barely getting off the canvas as he looks to walk his man down. Whereas Boggy's movements are all together more tiptoed and spring heeled, but that body shot will certainly slow down any quick footed movement that Boggy's looking to employ. He bows down and counters with a two shot salvo between the gloves of Aslonov. Approaching the halfway stage as another left hand slams into the body and Boggy's foot movement slowing to almost a standstill. Gets up on his toes once again, fighting his way through the fatigue. Stiff left jab fired out from the belt line. But his movement's looking slightly less sure-footed now as he takes another three-shot combination just above the belt line. And this is really intelligent boxing from Aslodov, investing in heavy body shots, looking to slow down the movement of the fleet-footed man from Kampala. Left hand over the top during a clinch, and it is not, this is not where Boggy wants to be. And again, this contest taking on the complexion that I anticipated it would because the sheer physicality and experience of Aslonov beginning to take its toll here now. Smaller boxers are often more skillful, but again, the sheer weight of punch, the sheer physical effort it takes to hold off a man who is naturally bigger, well, this is why we have weight divisions and why it is always so dramatic while you see those knuckles bumped together, Boggy has sustained a cut over his left eye. And the referee, Ivana Ogrenovic of Serbia, bumped her latex-clad knuckles together. That means that this cut has been caused by an accidental clash of heads. And in the event that that cut, the same cut, causes the contest to be stopped, we will go to the scorecards. But again, 
This is a really difficult mission, and we talk about smaller boxers stepping up in weight to take on bigger opponents. The skill often, almost invariably, lies with the smaller boxer, but the sheer weight of punch has more body shots being muscled in just above the belt line of Boggy. He contemptuously shakes his head, but you can bet that he is feeling no shots and his ribs are being rattled repeatedly as Aslanov shoe shine punches, then altogether heavier right hook, left hook around the elbows of Boggy. Boggy trying to stand his ground and fight back, but his movement has slowed now. And he's presenting an altogether easier target for Aslanov to tee off on. Another right hand driven into the ribcage with the palms turned up to the ring lights. Aslanov enjoying his best round of the contest. And that is because the body shots that he is investing in are beginning to pay dividends almost before our very eyes. Froggy not able to keep the movement going and presenting a stationary target that is hugely inviting for the accurate punches of Odil John Aslonov, particularly to the body. Some of the action from that round, and again, the body punches. Notable. While the movement of Boggy slows, it just allows Oslonov to tee off with educated, muscular body punches like that. Well, Boggy's corner taking every second of the 60 and then some to 10 to their man. He sustained a cut in the third round. Because of a clash of heads, he was worked over, particularly to the body in that stanza as well. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this man's courage or indeed his conditioning, but the conditioning he's brought to the ring is being tested because Aslonov continues to land in soul-sapping body punches beneath the floating ribs. Boggy forced to stand his ground and try and fight back, but he's being in danger of being overwhelmed here now because even those punches which are caught by the gloves and forearms, oh, that's a low blow, that's not going to help his cause, and a right cross over the top, and referee Ivana Ogrenovic taking a close look. Because Boggy, nothing wrong with the man's determination or competitive spirit, but he's just being outgunned by a man with bigger weaponry and a bigger body as he continues to dig away to the body like he's chopping down a tree. Minute gone in the fourth round, and it's been a torrid fourth round so far, endured by Boggy. But look at the manner in which he's competing, but turning his back, and that, of course, against the rules. But all of his intangibles of desire and heart being put to the test here now, as Aslonov continuing to score heavily downstairs, and those are painful shots as well. Any boxer will tell you oftentimes they'd rather get hit on the chin than take shots to the body because the pain of a body shot lingers. Good two-shot salvo followed by a right jab through the guard from Boagie, but he takes another right hand downstairs once again, blocks the left hook upstairs, couldn't repel the left hook that followed beneath his right elbow. Well, Boggy will still be trying to win. Third contest of 2023 for both of these boxers. But increasingly, it could well be coming an exercise in survival. But Boggy continuing to believe, but I'm just not sure he has the physical capacity to demonstrate his belief. There he comes back with a three-shot combination, but countered by a hard right hook over the top. Oh, a right hand driven in, right into his solar plexus. And these are fantastic body punches being demonstrated and executed by Odil John Oslonov. Again, just looking to snatch the soul of Boggy. Approaching the 10 second clapper in this penultimate round. And again, you see when Oslan Oslonov tries to target the head, Boggy still possesses the reflexes to pull his head out of harm's way 
of the incoming leather, but the body invariably moves less than the head. And Aslonov has had terrific success downstairs during the entirety of this contest. As you'd expect, given the disparity in size, this man enjoyed a terrific round with sharp shooting successes. Spinning off the line out of his southpaw stance, but the deeper we have gone into the contest, the more Aslonov has been able to pound away to his body and slow his movements at almost a standstill. Here's an example of such exquisite body punching here. You saw the response that it brought, up, brought about from Bwagi. Retreating, taking in a big gulp of oxygen, but he wasn't able to get out of the way of the majority of the body punches, and some of them were borderline. He didn't complain, and when the hands came down, the chin was an open target, and again, terrific punch picking being demonstrated and a stout set of whiskers as well by Shadiri Musa Bwagi. So into the fifth and final round of what has been a terrific display so far for Uzbekistan's Odil John Aslan, Aslanov. Contest scheduled for light heavyweight against the man who took the Ugandan super middleweight title in January of this year. That gives you an idea of the disparity in size and it has been apparent here tonight because the sharp shooting punch picking skills of Bwagi have been negated by the incessant body punching and as Lonoff has invested in, here Bwagi going for it. He must need a massive final round or a stoppage to have his hand raised as the victor here. And again, nothing wrong with the man's belief. As he comes back with a counter southpaw left, which was a scoring shot. But in many respects, it's a nice change of angles. And then Aslonov sinks in a left hand to the body once again. Good defences by Aslonov to tuck up and engage reverse gear. And now Aslonov able to cut off the ring, a rare forward foray in these recent rounds from Bwagi. Shoe shine punches to the body of the man in black from Aslonov. See him playing with that mouthpiece, trying to get in as much precious oxygen as possible. Good counter right hand again, drives Bwagi back to the co corner, in the neutral corner. Standing count issued by referee Ivana Ogrenovic. Bwagi frustrated that he's accrued a standing count, but again, safety of the boxes of paramount importance in all forms of boxing. And it's a particular emphasis in IBA boxing. It was being worked over there. And again, the sheer weight of punch coming from the 79.7 kilogram. Odil John Aslonov really beginning to take a toll. You have to commend the competitive spirit and desire of Shadiri Musa Bwagi. Uganda, such a terrific tradition in IBA style boxing. The self-styled Ugandan bombers have had some fantastic exponents over the years, none more so than John the Beast Mugabe, who went on to such outstanding success in the professional ranks. Speculative right uppercut fight out of the South Pole stance, but was inaccurate. And Bwagi is going to make it through to the final bell. It wasn't a survival mission, but he was being hit so hard and so often down to the body that he was unable to demonstrate his exquisite skill set of sharp shooting punches out of that southpaw stance. He will have earned his money tonight, Shadiri Musa Bwagi, because it will be Odiljan Aslonov who will have his hand raised as the victor.
extra size of his opponent took its toll. Here's the verdict. We'd like to kindly take a moment and invite our IBA sports director to send the ring for the official awarding ceremony for my general partner. Our general partner for the evening, Generali Sponsor, Rachel Boxer Lunch, Champion of IBA, Liga Stop. Decision. After giving five Freeman rounds of action in a light heavyweight 80 kg matchup, we go to the judges' scorecards where all your judges see the same way. Ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision to the court corner is Uzbekistan. Really taking his taking his toll and it's a unanimous point decision.